they're a hassle. They're all over the place. Um, I haven't ever been like bit on bit by them or anything, but they're weirdly aggressive. Like they jump at you. We all grow up eventually, even spotter and lantern lantern flies. And not only have they grown up, they are taking over in some spots. It's an infestation all along the wall and doorways at BNY Mellon downtown. A creeped out employee sent us this video asking, what is this plague? Yeah, unless you spent all weekend indoors, you likely saw those fast flying insects in your neighborhood too. Megan Schiller went straight to the experts to find out why we're seeing so many. They want you to smush them, but what if there are hundreds? No one wants to look like this. There are so many of them out right now and they are extra mobile. What's red and black and squished all over? The spotted lantern flies invasion is here on our windows. They seem to like the windows earlier in the season. We saw like a whole bunch of the the nymph, like the baby phase of them just eating the roots like crazy. But all babies grow up eventually and adulthood's given them wings. So now we're starting to see them and getting a lot more reports of them because they're flying away from their host plants to other plants, to homes and, and so forth. You can't even grab lunch in peace at McCandless Crossing. They're on the buildings and the lights. We asked entomologist Chad Gore, what are they looking for? Well, starting here pretty soon, they're gonna be after um, looking for egg laying sites. Um, they don't overwinter as adults, they overwinter as eggs. So the adult females have to find a place to lay their eggs. So they're racing the clock to find safe spots to not only feed, but lay those babies. That means if your home's landscaping wins best on the block, be prepared. Yeah, that's for sure. But you know, that, that's actually the, the case with a lot of things too that are attracted to plants. So the more plants that you have, which are nice to have flowering plants and um, trees and so forth, uh, they're nice to have, but you also have to deal with the insects um, and the different animals that that like those things. And even though it can seem like they're jumping out at you, they don't bite. Their mouths are only designed to suck on plants and trees, so they can't harm you in any way. Reporting tonight downtown, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.